Good morning and welcome to another vlog. We are here in Berta Wood. No, we're not in Berta Wood. What's it called? Berta... Hang on, let me look. Berta Set. It's called Berta Set. It is a tiny little village in the Yorkshire Dales. We drove up here yesterday. I vlogged yesterday if you haven't seen it. I will link it down below. You can watch our kind of our packing and journey up and whatever and what happened yesterday. Oh dear me. We're staying in this adorable little proper English Yorkshire little cottage. It's got like a real fire and it's just so cute. I love it. We've stayed in a few little cottages before in Yorkshire and I just I love it every single time. We stay in a cottage. I did do it through Airbnb. If you've not already signed up to Airbnb, I've got a link down below for like I think it's like £25 off your first stay. With that, honestly, I don't think I would stay anywhere else with young children just to have space, to, honestly, to be able to have cooking facilities and know that you're going to have like a kettle if you're making bottles and just like, honestly, a washing machine. Like we had a bit of a disaster on the way up yesterday with some sickness and to be able to just like throw those clothes in the wash when you arrive and just the space. I absolutely love doing Airbnbs when I'm traveling with little children like when it's just me and Stephen or something like we can just bunk in a hotel room it doesn't really matter or whatever but with young children definitely love Airbnb so if you do want to grab that money off code if you've not already signed up to Airbnb that is linked down below in the description we are going somewhere today we haven't decided where we're actually going the problem when you've got like Stephen is what he's like 15 and a half when you've got like a I'm gonna say lazy he's not a lazy teenager but when you've got a teenager who likes to be up later and get up later and then when you've got young ones it's quite difficult when you want to like i'm ready to go out now it's nine o'clock we've been up for a while i'm ready to go out now stephen hasn't woken up i'm gonna go and wake him up in a minute though and get him up so we can get out for the day I'm very excited to be here to be honest i'm really looking forward to the next couple of days we're here until monday stephen's up look at these stairs they're like a death trap i don't know if you can tell how steep they are on camera but oh my goodness I'm pretty scared of them, to be honest. <laughs> Is this angle better? Can you tell how steep they are? Crazy steep. We have made it out. We're just heading up to the car. There's nowhere to park, like right outside the cottage. So it's just a little bit up this hill. That's like literally the village there. Just that road with like a few little, um, what's it called? A few little cottages and then this is where we're walking, see the car there, it's just fields. We're just chatting to that man there, that man's off to feed a horse apparently. Hmm. Oh look! What are they doing? Oh! Bah. Oh. <laughs> oh, they were coming our way. Oh no, oh no, there's a sheepdog. Oh. Right, we've decided we are going to a place called Hard Raw Force. It's only eight miles. That's not what it said when I was looking last night. Anyway, it's not very far away. It's um, the, what is it, Stephen? The largest? Single drop waterfall. Largest single drop waterfall in England. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In England. Like so we're going there. We're going to see what that's all about. We may go somewhere else afterwards, but who knows? That's where we're off to right now. I just wanted to show you, Stephen's holding the camera whilst I'm driving along. This is the, um, what's it called, Berta set, where we stay. Like, it's literally just this, this little road here. Our cottage is the end one over there. And it's just adorable. Look, there's like a little telephone box there. Berta set studio gallery. I don't know what that is. It's open. We're going to have a look later on. And like that's literally it and then we just go down over onto the main road that takes us over to Hawes which is I think that's how you say it which is where um Wednesdaydale cheese is made we're probably gonna go to tomorrow or maybe today we'll, we'll see how time goes but yeah this is where we are it's adorable Whoa. well we've been driving for quite a while it's like I'm sure this is taking us the wrong way and it did I have no idea why but the map took us in the completely opposite direction it was beautiful scenery but completely in the opposite direction so we've just found a place to stop and we're going to turn around and head back the way we came look where we are though it's really nice in fact i'm gonna get out of the car and show you dale's way footpath we could walk here i knew it was wrong we're like why on earth is it driving us taking us all this way 
got to head back. We, we contemplated continuing on, but then we looked at the map and it was like, and we've no internet connection because obviously we're like, oh, whatever. So, we're turning around and heading back. I'm just going to go out and take a photograph out here because it's beautiful. Maybe Stephen can maybe try whilst I'm driving along and show you a little bit of the scenery. Finally here, waterfall entrance. It's taken us a very long time to find this. The waterfall is privately owned and maintained, hence the charge. Okay, we're in. There is a small charge to get to the waterfall. I think it was four pounds for adults, under fives were free, and two pounds for under 16 year olds. So six pounds for us lot to come. And there's just this little walkway. I have got a buggy. I was I asked if it's uh, wheelchair, not wheelchair. Well, yeah, wheelchair accessible, I suppose, as well. Buggy accessible. And it is. I did bring the carriers just in case, but I would rather push the buggy, to be quite honest. We've just got this little pathway walk up to the waterfall. It's lovely. Look, there's a little picnic area there with some benches. Huge big cliff. It's so nice. I can hear the waterfall, I think it's just through these trees. <gasps> Look at this place, oh wow. So nice. We're having, what are they called? Poo stones. A poo stone competition. Ready, drop. Whoop. <laughs> that was a bit cheating, wasn't it? Dropping it then. <laughs> oh. Bye bye stick. Bye bye stick. Oh. <laughs> little picnic spot we're gonna eat our picnic that we brought with us let's see what have we got we got sandwiches oh I did bring the nappies with me banana oh. head sandwiches
picnic is done. We're leaving here and we're just gonna have a little wander around Hardcore itself. It's like a literally, I don't even think you would call it a village. It's like, I don't know, like a tea room, a pub, and a couple of um, houses, cottages, I think. But we're just gonna have a little wander around there now. The village is like literally pub there on the left, a little house over there. It's a, actually quite a big church, to be honest. The tea room up here. There's a car coming. I need to get in. There's so many, like really nice. Well, I'm assuming they're going to be very really nice uh, walks and like footpaths and things. But we can't do them with the buggy and the kids and everything. Um, like I'd love to come back without little ones and do some more walks and things. It's not really possible. With uh, well, I mean it is. We could both, both me and Stephen could bung a child on our backs, but we're not going <laughs> to. There's loads of little signs like this, like this one, what does this one say? Pennine way, that way, but not with the buggy. Possibly tomorrow, we may, uh, we may stick on the carriers to be honest and walk somewhere. Five minutes away we are from where we're staying to, uh, <laughs> to where we've just been. It took us an hour to get here before with all that going round in circles. Well it wasn't even circles, it was just being driven miles away. Back at the cottage, we've actually been here for quite a few hours. The kids have had a lovely, nice long sleep and so we are heading back out. We're just gonna stick them in a carrier and have a little wander around, what's it called again? Bertaset, this little village. So I think there's like quite a lot of like little paths and things and footpaths that we can go along. So we're just gonna have a nice little wander. They can maybe get out, well, anyone who can walk or whatever can or can have a little play and a little wonder possibly but yeah we're gonna get out are we ready let's go should we go and get the carriers from the car who's going with Stephen oh <laughs> me I'm going with Stephen hang on stay there <laughs> we got the kids on our backs and we are off oh you say hi hi horses Oh, hello. Oh, you see them? It's a horse. Nay. Hello, horse. Oh, he stroked his nose. Hello. Oh, you want to come see? The sheep are coming to see us. Maybe they're coming. It's we found a path. We've been walking along this little road for a while. I think we can go up here. We found a permissive path, which permissive just means like it belongs to the farmers, but you can use it. So we're gonna have a little walk up here. It's hard to get through. Thank you very much. Close it back up. Lock it behind us. That is difficult. Permissive access, natural England. We could do a, I don't know how big that, Berta set. Have I been calling it Butter set? No. Oh. I called it Butter I set. I, I don't know. First arrived. Oh, did you? I don't know how, I mean, meters. I don't think that's too big of a yeah, that's loop 80, to that's do. 80 meters. Yeah. It's not a huge loop, is it? We can do that loop and then back. So about oh, yeah, and then it takes us down to that path where the horses just were, I think. I think the horses are like there. We'll try it. This is our path, I think. Maybe we might get a bit hard work this walk. It's going to get a bit uphill. Oh, look at these views. Oh. Uh, they're talking. It's a quarry, should we go and have a quick look? And I think it's that way. Oh, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? I thought there was going to be like a big hole. Oh, a little rabbit hair. Well, have you, yeah, I'm running that hole. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't really worth coming to look for. Well, we saw a little rabbit. Right, maybe we're on the back down now. 
We've got to get across the water. I got a good spot. Are you going to get it on your shoes? No. Stephen's off to try to find. We saw on the map there was a path, but once we got here, there's no path. We just got walls and stuff. We're kind of blocked in a bit. You know, see like a sty over that wall. We're going back the way we came. Stephen's climbing over the wall. Careful. Just, just I was going to say, just be careful what you lean on because it might not be very uh, stable. Back down the way we came. You scared me then. <laughs> we've reconsulted the map and we've decided that there's a little, uh, what are they called? I don't know. Sty things, like a thing to get over the wall. No there's one. <laughs> There's one at the corner of the trees over there, so we're gonna go see. We're nearly there. Let's see. What did you say? You think there's a little gate? Yes. Or not. Uh oh, or not. I might have to turn around. Oh crap. Stephen thinks there's nothing here. There must be. Oh yeah, there is. Yes, there is. Oh, it's tiny. We yay! We found our way out of the field. Oh, oh. big drop! It's a big drop. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah, there is. Steps, but... Whoa! Hang on. Not many people will carry it. No. Oh, I need to get down here. Hang on. Yes, I'm down. You see the more sheep? We just eat all that. Yeah. We just eat. But it's only grass. It's not got very many. Uh, not got much energy, they need to eat all day. I think if you ate lettuce all day, they have to eat a lot of it. Hello. What was it about their eyes? Hello. They one time. Oh, odd eyes, or oh no, the slits in their eyes or something. Like, like the rectangle. Yeah, the rectangular oh. pupils. Oh. Hi. It was something about like vegetation or something. Like they don't yeah. need to look for animals. Yeah. Oh. But then, are they the only animal that have rectangular? Yeah. Did you know that? Rectangular. Oh, it's like it goes across, doesn't it? Not down. Rectangular. You just saw their eyes. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rectangular uh, pupils. Yeah, it's quite steep. This is lovely. <gasps> Stephen's running. He's getting cocky. Careful. That's a good request. Stephen's just like, I wish we could take away the poo. <laughs> yeah, and we could just roll down the hill. Are they the horses that we were in? Is this for real? Is there a... <laughs> oh yeah, there's six steps there. I thought it was just like a leap down. I wouldn't have a fat leg and go through there, could you? Is it flew back there? Oh. oh my goodness. Is it easy to get down? We see it in the distance. Oh, who? In the right in front of us there. Our way out to the field, we found it. The horses aren't coming to see us. No, we don't roar, we say. Hey. Hey.